One is I'm a board certified vascular surgeon. Certainly mm -hmm. in treating venous disease, you would want someone who's had a, a, the depth of training that I've had, not an internal medicine doctor who's trained on the side for to treat uh, varicose veins. I've right. been through general surgery residency and then vascular uh, fellowship. I also think it's important to uh, teach I teach uh, medical students and residents uh, about vascular disease, both arterial and venous. I give lectures uh, to them. It keeps you on your toes, certainly, for questions to ask the medical students and the questions that they ask you. Yeah, I would think that that keeps you razor sharp on all the latest things that are going on. Plus, they're going to challenge you, right? So you're going to learn and grow with them and just keep on the, the cusp of, of, of cutting edge stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, it certainly keeps you up to date because yeah. you'll ask them to read journal articles and, and things along those lines. And yeah. so it's it's really important to, to keep continue to read and continue to, to teach. It sounds like you have a passion for teaching. I love teaching. I think that it's important to teach people how to operate and to also teach people about arterial and venous disease. If they're going through medical school, they should know the anatomy of it and yeah. what causes venous disease, what causes arterial disease, even if they're not going into vascular surgery, yeah. because it's important to know. 